Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this video we will talk about dimension style and how can we set it correctly. If you don't know how to place dimensions for lines, angle and so on, I will let you a link in the description and a link right here in the right corner. The dimension style will help you to control how your dimension will look like. This will include the type of writing, the length of the lines, the type of the arrow and much more. So let's have a short example. Let's say we need a dimension for this part. So we have two options. We can click here at this icon dimension or we can write them from dimension. For example, let's select this point until we reach the other one. Okay. But you can see this number is too little for us. So we need to make it bigger first of all. And let's say also we don't like this type of the arrows. So in this video, we will learn all about them. Let's make our life easier and let's create another layer. So go here and let's add a new layer. So click on this button and let's write, for example, dimension and then press enter. We will let to default and the type of line it will be continuous. Double click on it to be the main layer. You can click this and to go to dimension style, we can click here to this icon or we can type dim style and here it will appear a new window let's imagine this drawing that i have behind this window it is on the scale 1 to 100 so when it comes to drawings it is better to have a dimension style for every scale that you will use for example a dimension style for the scale 1 to 100 another one for the scale 1 to 50 and so on now we get the idea but in our case let's have just a short example let's click at this plus button and let's create a new dimension style the name let's say it will be scale 1 to 100 Start with ISO, yeah, it is basically the same thing and we will let it with all dimensions and then we'll press continue. And now we can personalize it. I will show you really quick which are the most important. But first of all, let's jump straight into symbols and arrows. Let's change here into oblique. When it comes to architecture, the oblique is the most used by far. My advice for you is to let the first and the second arrowhead the same. But let's go back to lines. My recommendation here, the color, let it by layer. Because by layer means this layer, it is the layer that is currently active. So in our case, the layer dimension, if you remember. Line type, the same. We can let it with by layer. Line weight the same it can be a good idea because you can imagine when i modify the layer it will automatically modify all of them so i should not return back and to modify again here extend beyond ticks we can see much better in this picture what is that distance so for our case today let's say it will be 25 in our situation don't check suppress because as you see this line it will be automatically deleted so we don't want it we want that our drawing to be as accurate as possible. The same thing here, the color by layer, everything should be by layer because it will make our life much easier. Line weight the same. And the suppress it will be the same story as you see. After that, extend beyond dim lines. This dimension, we can see it here in this picture. And for our case, we will let it also just with 25. So basically, it is the same dimension like extend beyond ticks. The other one, you can see it better here. It will be the same also with a value of 25. And when it comes to fixed length extension lines, you can see those arrows. We will let it also with 25 units. But I repeat, it is just an example to understand what they will look like and after that you will be able to manage your own dimensions. Let's go to the next tab, symbols and arrows. So we already choose oblique, but when it comes to arrow size, you can see it in this picture, the length of this line. And we will let it also with 25 in this case. Then we can really skip the other dimensions because they're not so important. Then we'll jump right into text. So the text style, you can see here three dots, click on those and let's select another type of writing. For example, in our case, let's select randomly Arial. Regular, okay, and then apply. Close. The text color, 
It is obvious that it will be again by layer because it is much faster to change the layer instead of coming back here dimension style and modify everything. The text height, let's say for our case it will be 15 and don't forget how it look like this dimension because at the end of this tutorial you will see the difference. Show text frame, no it doesn't matter too much because as you see here we have like a little rectangle in the exterior of this number so it is not necessary placement above centered no we don't want center as you see we want just to be above and this is perfect and here offset from dim style you can see clear here usually it is the third part of the text height so let's say it will be five in this case you can see it clear now horizontal and the line you see the difference it just look better a line with dimension style okay and then fit you don't want to modify here something and then primary unit let's say i will use decimal okay and the precision you can let it with no decimal with one decimal or i will let it with two decimals just to be and here when you have some decimals you can choose between comma period or space so i will select period for example i want here a little point instead of a comma and then you don't need the other ones as well and then you will press ok and you are ready to go you can see by this little arrow that this is the current scale that we will use and then press close and let's see a difference now so this is the previous scale ISO 25 and now we will apply the new scale so right dim or dimension from a point to the other for example and look at it and if you want to continue go here and press this button or you can write dim continue and as you see it good and this is how you change dimension style moreover if you don't know which one is the dimension style that you are using for example select one and go here to properties and if you are scrolling down you can find it here at misc dim style scale 1 to 100 let's block it select the other one and when we are scrolling down you can see here dim style iso 25 so this is the difference you can delete this and you can add another one and this is how you get the dimension style correctly i hope this video helped you if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time